Today we have a groove lesson for you. So we're going to be looking at a, a particular groove called a halftime shuffle. Um, in previous videos actually we've done on the drum channel, I have talked about a shuffle before. Um, but basically this is, a, this is a groove that's based on, on triplets. And the, the main difference with a halftime shuffle is that the backbeat or the, or the main snare hit that you would normally normally hear happens on beat three, not on two and four. So it's about it's exactly half as half as long as what what it normally is. So uh, just to give you an example, this is what a normal shuffle sounds like. Okay, that's the normal shuffle. Okay, the halftime shuffle, like I said before, I'm just going to do half as many snares, so it sounds a bit like this. All right, so you can sort of get the idea now. Now, this lesson though, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, a sticking right, left, left, right, left, left, and we're going to split it up between the hi-hats and the snare drum, okay? So it's going to be right on the hi-hats and two lefts on the snare drum, keeping the left as soft as we can, and you can sort of use the right hand as, you, as, you, as your pulse and, uh, and a bit of an accent. Then what's going to happen is that as you're going along, when you get to do the when you actually get to do the, the snare hit, you're going to bring your right hand to the snare drum. Okay, so this this pattern, which is letter A on your PDF that you should be um, downloading and, and checking out with us, um, sounds like this. Okay, so that gives you the, the essence of the shuffle uh, like, like so. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add a bass drum part to it as well. So I've just picked a random bass drum part. You can do anything you like. You can do four on the floor, um, you know, simple or as, or as hard as you like. The harder you, you make it, um, you know, it's up completely up to you. So um, follow along. This is the bass drum part that I've, that I've chosen um, and you'll hear what it sounds like. Okay, this is B. Okay, so in most situations that'll be that'll be pretty much fine. What you could you could use that and you can move it onto the ride symbol, etc. Now I'm going to take it a step further. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the standard shuffle pattern that happens in a hi hat. In the hi hat, that's usually uh, right on the start of the triplet and a right on the end of the triplet. So it'll be like this. And I'm going to add it to what we already have with the left left. So what you're going to end up with, just to break it down, you're going to end up with right left together right left together bearing in mind that the, the the together shouldn't be loud okay so this is what this sounds like Okay, and now finally we're going to add the same bass drum part that we had before to that pattern. And what you kind of get is this kind of really, um, like I said, it shuffles for a reason. It kind of, and it seems really full and it sounds really, really groovy. And it's something great that you can go into from a really basic shuffle if you have to. And if you want to, you know, funk it up a little bit, you can go into, into the halftime shuffle. Okay. Um, don't forget, just before I play this, don't forget on the PDF there's going to be some other exercises, some basic exercises you can get going to starting with um, and also some stuff to make it a little bit more, more interesting later on. Okay, so um, this is D, uh, and thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.